Yes, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is What's On Jones back again. And you know, I want to talk about a topic that I've been meaning to talk about for a while, and that's Quentin Rampage Jackson. Quentin Rampage Jackson, former UFC champion, former UFC superstar, is now in TNA Wrestling. He's not just in Bellator, he's also in TNA Wrestling. So, basically what this is about is, is Quentin Jackson being in TNA a good thing? Is it good for TNA? Is TNA going to benefit from Quentin Jackson's popularity? Well, I'm just going to say, well, they will get news coverage. They will get news cover rich. They probably won't get it like on ESPN or, or, or anything like that. No, Lifetime Magazine. Uh, probably not like that, but it will be pretty big. Because Quentin Rampage Jackson, like I said, he he has fans. People love Quentin Rampage Jackson. They have things that some people probably hate him. But Quentin Rampage Jackson is a big enough star to generate buzz. Probably not the level of someone like Floyd Mayweather. Well, or Mike Tyson back in the day, but he'll generate buzz for TNA unlike anyone else that TNA has on their roster right now. And that is the absolute truth. So, you know, he did do the A-Team movie, which did pretty well. That movie did pretty well. He, you know, he's done a couple of other projects, you know, nothing big, but he was a former UFC champion. Now, if you don't really know who he is exactly, you know, he is an entertaining guy. I would say he has the personality of a pro wrestler, so he does have a really good personality. He's funny. He's entertaining. He's the type of guy you probably want to sit down and have a beer with. So Quentin Rampage Jackson isn't boring. Now, the big question is, can he wrestle? Probably not yet. I doubt he had any wrestling training yet. You know, at least not a whole lot. So I don't know just yet. Is is this going? You know. Is the deal for him going to be really, really bad? You know, Quentin Rampage Jackson left the UFC basically because he wanted more money. So, I'm guessing TNA gave him the money that he needed. And, you know, if that is true, they paying him a large salary. You know, if the UFC, you know, Dana White didn't give him the type of money that he wanted. And TNA is, you know, they don't get more money than the UFC. I highly doubt that they do. So... I'm just wondering, how much money is it costing them? So, is this a waste of money? Don't know. Is How much money are they paying this guy? You know, we, we don't know his contract. We don't know his contract at all. So, I'm just going to say this. As far as him being in TNA, as far as them getting, like, news coverage, you know, getting a buzz outside of the TNA, bringing in new fans, I'm just going to say that, yeah, that's a good thing. But as far as him... Actually being there, you know, trying to wrestle good matches. You no, know, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. So if they put him in a main event spot, you know, they got him working with Kurt Angle, probably the best wrestler in the business, at least one of the best. We just going to have to wait and see. But as far as him being in Impact Wrestling, getting news coverage, that is a good thing. So this is What's On Jones. If you haven't done so, go ahead, click that subscribe button. You won't get a ticket if you click it. I promise you. Deuces.